These levels are hot. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 fire and lava levels in video games. For this list, we're looking at levels with a fiery theme, meaning lava, lots of fire, or some other type of inferno. As usual, we're limiting it to one entry per franchise, and excluding any levels set in hell, since that's a different theme altogether. Also, does anyone think it's weird that so many games have lava stages? Number 10, Solar. Star Fox 64. That area is an oven. Don't go burning that R wing. In this classic game for the Nintendo 64, Fox McCloud must cross the Lilat system full of enemies bioengineered by the evil Andros. None of these bioweapons are as bizarre as the ones located on the system's sun, appropriately named Solar. Data analysis complete. Here it comes. The enemies on the sun can withstand the celestial body's temperatures of over 3,500 degrees Kelvin. The R-wings, however, are not designed for such extreme temperatures, as the heat constantly chips away at your shields, and the lower you fly, the more damage you take. I can't take it anymore. Number 9, The Chateau, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. The Uncharted series has always featured Nathan Drake utilizing parkour skills to jump onto ledges and scale walls. But that's taken to the next level, when Nate finds himself in a chateau burning to the ground. Drake and Sully must navigate their way through the structure as it crumbles down around them, and as each step may cause the floor beneath them to fall away. All the while, the two must worry about Talbot's goons, who seem more intent with taking you out than getting out of the burning place themselves. You okay? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's not go back in there. Number eight, the dancer's court, Little Big Planet. This level, which appears towards the end of the game, features platforms resembling belly dancers and columns of fire for Sackboy to traverse. Like the rest of the game, the dancer's court features trippy gameplay and visuals. Of course, the level cranks up the difficulty, being one of the toughest in the game thanks to the insane moving platform puzzles. Be careful not to fall, because stuffed toys burn real easy. Number seven, Dangerous Dinner, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Everyone's favorite pink puffball must pass through a deadly volcano filled with pillars of lava and burning rock. As with any great Kirby game, this level is filled with secret doors, hidden keys, and portions that must be passed using logic, as well as the properly acquired skills from swallowed enemies. But be careful here because touching the lava will cause you to lose any ability Kirby has obtained. Number six, the Iron Keep, Dark Souls 2. It doesn't get much cooler than a gigantic fortress made of iron slowly sinking into a lake of lava. The Iron Keep is filled with danger around every corner, much like the rest of the game, including a number of mini bosses and of course the big guy, the Iron King, one of the toughest and scariest bosses in any game. The player must also navigate various narrow platforms suspended above the lava, some of which can sink into the lava by pulling a switch. Better not be standing on them when that happens. Number five, Hailfire Peaks, Banjo Tooie. This area is unique on this list as it combines two opposite elements in one level, with a lava side juxtaposed with an ice side. Originally envisioned as a strictly fire level, an ice portion was added that truly makes Hailfire one of a kind. <laughs> to complete the level and collect all the secrets, the player must travel back and forth between both sides and face the twin dragons of fire and ice. You'll also find a forgotten 80s video game mascot here named Saberman, as well as your old camel buddy, Gobi. Number four, the escape, Aladdin. You can usually count on video game adaptations of movies to be less than amazing. However, Aladdin is one of the exceptions to that rule. There are actually two different versions of this game, one on the SNES and one for the Sega Genesis, and each with a different version of Aladdin escaping from a collapsing, molten cave of wonders. 
In both, Aladdin must escape on foot, vaulting over pits of magma, and then make a dashing escape on the flying carpet while being chased by a tidal wave of lava. Number 3. Melty Molten Galaxy – Super Mario Galaxy The Mario series is absolutely filled with classic lava levels. It basically wrote the book on them. <laughs> Lethal Lava Land from Super Mario 64 almost nabbed a spot here. But ultimately, our pick for Mario had to be the Melty Molten Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. This level takes many of the elements from past Mario Fire levels and vastly improves on them. The game adds fiery meteors raining down on Mario, and then forces you to try to balance on a ball inside a cylinder of lava with holes in it. In the rear with the gear. Number 2. The Devil's Playground StarCraft II – Wings of Liberty uh, Lava and Zerg – two of my favorite things. This volcanic level certainly earns its name. Although the planet is rich with minerals, which the Terran arrived to mine, it is also incredibly deadly, with plenty of volcanoes and vast rivers of, you guessed it, lava. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. To make things more difficult, the minerals are located around lava deposits, which quickly rise and will wipe out any units in low-lying areas. Of course, dealing with the lava is only part of the problem, as the planet is also swarming with Zerg who are all too eager to tear your units apart. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. The Fire Temple – The Legend of Zelda – Ocarina of Time Ocarina of Time, and the Zelda franchise in general, is filled with iconic temples for each element, and fire is definitely no exception. This is the second temple and the fifth dungeon in the game that Link has to tackle. The iconic puzzles and enemies of the franchise are given a fiery twist here. Link goes up against walls of fire, giant boulders, and shield-eating slugs, all while freeing the tough but lovable Gorons. Also, if you tackle this level in Master Quest, you'll have to face an iron knuckle in this dungeon. And if you play the original, you know that these things are no joke. Do you agree with our list? We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Which lava level got you all burned up? I ever mention how much I hate volcanic planets? For more explosive top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.